Hi, this is Ian Clark. I think this is a very serious topic, and I don't like talking about negative things, but sometimes I find it necessary in order to connect with the outer world and to connect with the people who are in this outer world who don't seem to get it, who don't seem to understand some very basic things. And it frustrates me to a point where I feel I have to use some of their vocabulary and stoop down maybe halfway to their level in order to explain something. And this topic today is so-called circumcision and male genital mutilation. It seems to me that there are many women out there who are intent on having this in America particularly there are some other countries particularly the Muslim world there are females who want to get back at and they want to commit a very grave aggression against the male genitals and this is why we see in many couples the female decides I want my son to have half of his penile skin cut off and probably I think what amounts twenty percent of the entire penis excised. This is an expression of the karma that is coming through the female. So something had happened to her, likely a rape or likely some sort of sexual aggression, which makes her have a hatred for the male genitals. She then passes the karma down to the next generation. At some point, men, <laughs> if you're circumcised and you are not a complete man, I think you have to consider this, that you have been given a very large sack of karma that you have to deal with. And the temptation is, after you're circumcised, in the spiritual world you are tempted to want to go after the females as well. You want to attack them. You want to make them miserable. You want to use females. There is an excess sexual consciousness that comes from the physical state, the material state, of lacking a foreskin. So the incomplete male will walk down the street and he can feel the glands just rubbing in the pants. It is uncomfortable to those of us who are not interested in titillation or excess sexual stimulation. And this physical circumstance also feeds the spiritual circumstance where I want to get back at the females. I want to use them. I want to see them as dolls or toys for my pleasure. And there are different degrees. You know, I could funnel this. I could be a little bit better. I could say I want a relationship. In today's lingo, relationship is your personal harem, uh, your personal prostitute, somebody in your home which gives you sexual pleasure at whatever point you wish or maybe at regular intervals. And then there's an even lesser degree where this person might want to have a marriage based on that as opposed to having the marriage based on having children and for procreation and such. And so this karma is coming out and it wants to pass down to the next generations. It wants to uh, lead to yet another pregnancy of a female and yet another birth of a child and yet another child who is in the common lingo messed up who will perhaps again be mutilated downstairs and he will again feel this immense charge down there he'll also have been mutilated and, and raped and cut at this point in his most formative stage and this is usually typically right after birth and it is such an intense pain many of the babies of course pass out it transforms their body into something they don't care about and I notice that the attitude of the circumcised males tends to be it's just my body you know it's just my body I don't care about it and they will abuse that body for temporary pleasure this is the same situation where we see females who have been raped and abused as children. They turn around into so-called porn stars. And they're actually, to me, they're, they're gutter rats. 
and they go down into that gutter because they feel it's just my body if some person with money or some person with advantage from me wants to get down my pants and they will give this advantage to me for that then that's fine they can just use my body it doesn't matter and something happened to them where their idea of the body which is a temple for the spirit their idea of the body somehow gets transformed into it doesn't matter it's just nothing now I know that the flesh is less important than the spirit and all of that yet the importance of the flesh is that it is this temple for our spirit and everything we do in the material world should be edifying our spiritual world and if we take it that the body and the flesh does not affect the spiritual world that the purity of our body doesn't matter then you end up going down into this gutter and you have things like the gutter rats who are posing for cameras in doing the unthinkable things and the same thing is happening to men it is happening on a grand scale the American men who I think over 50 percent of whom are so-called circumcised are sexually obsessed and have been driven down a path of promiscuity these people I want to call out to these people and I, I want you to stop the karma I want you to stop passing that around I want you to be pure and to stop looking at women as an object as you may look at yourself as your own flesh you can escape this you can stop the cycle altogether you can do this by living the pure life through your meditation and prayer through your devotion to higher ideals by devotion to your work your labor your arts your learning all of these things are positive and constructive things which just totally destroy that karma that evil inheritance that you've been given especially you so be celibate and be well thank you very much